pardon me, y'all, but whenever I talk to religious people, it's like I'm the devil for asking questions. If the slave master didn't care about what we ate, he fed us the worst food. He didn't care about the subpar inhumane conditions that he subjected us to to live. Why would he care about giving us the Bible out of all things? If he would kill us for catching us reading, if he kill us for speaking our own language, if he made sure he would teach us how to read and what to read, and he said the only thing I'm going to allow y'all to read is the Bible. And in that Bible, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5, it says, Slaves, obey your masters like you would Jesus Christ. It says it in there. Why would I believe in them? If slavery existed during Jesus, before Jesus, and after Jesus, did God take a did God take 400 years off when we was being oppressed? And as far as the trans-Sub-Saharan slave trade, that was over 1,200 years. Did he take over 1,200 years off? Did he take almost 2,000 years off? It's your boy brother Kwame from the Lion and Jewel Teach and I am back at it with another video and in this video I'm going to be dealing with a brother named Brother Polite. I'm going to be dealing with the lie the brother said about the Bible. Okay, our slave master, they never gave us the Bible. They took the Bible from us and they gave us their interpretation of the Bible. And I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what I'm saying. Okay, their interpretation of the Bible is why you have many people that think that Jesus' birthday was on December the 25th, Christmas. Their interpretation of the Bible is why many people think that Jesus rose on a Sunday. Their interpretation of the Bible is why many people go to church on Sunday and still don't understand the Bible. And why they still have no understanding of the Bible? Because they are still under the doctrine interpretation that our slave master gave us. They gave us the doctrine, God loves you all day and you can do whatever you want. God loves you. God loves you. You can do whatever you want. God loves you. You can do whatever you want. The same doctrine that I just cut with the seven previous video series that I just did about the laws of the Most High God are not done away with. People, I'm sorry to say this, or I'm sorry to share this information with you, but our slave masters, they gave us the doctrine, the religion of Christianity. Our slave masters, they never gave us the Holy Scriptures. They gave us paganism. See, the problem is, Brother Polite, he never really read the Bible. And I'm going to prove it. That's right, I'm going to prove it with the same scripture he either misread or read with onions in his eyes. Or he just plain up lied to you all about what this scripture is really saying. Now, jump me to the book. Jump me to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5. Jump me to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5, because I'm going to deal with the lie he tried to say about this Holy Scripture. See, and before I explain what this Scripture, Ephesians 6 and 5, is trying to convey to you all, before I deal with this, I want you people to understand something. This is what happens when you don't fully read the scriptures. 
in its context. Reading scriptures in, it, in its context, that is kryptonite to Christians. That's why many of you people are being misled by wolves in sheep's clothing. See, the thing is, this scripture, Ephesians 6 and 5, it's not hard to explain it all. And it's not hard to read it all if you actually just read it in its context. And this is why a lot of people in the conscious community, they run from people like myself because they know that they will get embarrassed. Because I cut people like the way Christ used to cut them in the scriptures. I cut people today the same exact way Christ used to cut the Jews and Pharisees and scribes with the scriptures. See, I cut them with simplicity, meaning I cut people in a simple connotation of understanding with basic mathematics. That's basically what I'm trying, trying to convey to you all. Now let's deal with what Brother Polite said about Ephesians 6 and 5. Now I want you guys to join me to the book. Join me to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, the fifth verse. And the word of the Lord say, Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling in singleness of your heart as unto Christ. Okay, so is this talking about slaves being obedient to a man that's their slave master? Or is this Blakely talking about we as servants of Christ, aka followers of Christ, being obedient to our parents who are our masters in the flesh, just like we're supposed to be obedient to the King Jesus? Let's now find out what this is talking about. Let's read the next two verses in context and see if Brother Polite is lying to you or is Brother Kwame telling you the truth. It's pretty much one of the two. Let's read verse 6. The word of the Lord say, Not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Verse 7, the word of the Lord say, With good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. You see that? With good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. This is not talking about being a slave at all. This is talking about being followers of the Lord King Jesus Christ, doing the will of the Father God. In verse 7, it clearly tells you, doing the will of God is good service, not bad slavery service. All this is saying is be obedient to our parents or any spiritual leader of Christ as we are obedient to Christ and the Father God. It's that simple. I pray that you so-called conscious people get this. This has absolutely nothing to do with slavery. You can clearly see when you read it in its context, it's actually beneficial to your life. Let me give you another quick rundown. Okay, son, take that blindfold off your face when you're walking down the stairs. You may fall and snap your neck. Daughter, take that blindfold off your face while you're cooking. You may burn the whole house down. Hey children, let's read the Bible so we can learn who Christ the Son and God the Father is so we won't be led astray by the wolves in sheep clothing. You see that? Do you see how beneficial that is for your life? But whenever you have brothers like Polite quoting scriptures out of this context, it will make you feel like God's words 
or to destroy you, or it can simply make you turn away from the Most High God. Man, this your boy, Brother Kwame from the Lion of Judah Teach. I urge you guys to really wake up and really start reading your Bibles. Study the Most High God's Word in the Spirit. Remember that scripture, John 4 and 24, God is a spirit. He is a spirit, so that in order to serve him, you have to serve him in spirit and truth. You got to be spiritual, renewed in your mind. You can't read the Bible and understand the Bible from the flesh. You can't. You just can't. You have to study to show that self-approved, just like the Apostle Paul said in 2 Timothy 2 and 15. You have to do this. It's things to this. It's levels to this. So in order to catch all of this, what I'm saying, go on a fast. Go on a 12-day fast for understanding of this video. I know many of you people won't receive it. I know many of you people are going to still try to debate this and call this Bible a slavery book when it has absolutely nothing to do with that. All this Bible is about is being obedient. And if you be disobedient, you will get punished. It's just like a regular child, just like your child, you as a parent. If your child be disobedient towards you, what are you going to do? You're going to let him get away with it? so he can suffer the consequences when he get older and go to jail or you're going to punish him so he can learn from his mistakes and turn those mistakes into lessons it's your boy brother Kwame from the line that you to teach and i am out shallow long